even though you're not saying anything that original when you tell them that they look stunning, you know, people like to hear it. People like to hear it. It's a compliment. You look stunning. Who doesn't want to hear they look stunning? You tell people what they want to hear. And then you could avoid gossip. You don't have to speak gossip. You don't have to hear it. Repeat it. You don't have to talk it. You could just say, you look stunning. Once you train people that you don't gossip, you know, they're not going to come to you with the scoop. They're not going to come to you for the scoop. And you don't have to indulge in that. You don't have to hear it. You don't have to spread it. You don't have to speak it. People will respect you a lot more. And they'll know that it wasn't you that said something. Whenever they're not giving the benefit of the doubt, it's not you who they're thinking of because you've already trained them that you don't get involved. And you can use these stock answers with your mother-in-law. You have four stock answers. She asks you how you're doing, you just say, great, great. You could tell her she looks stunning, she'll like to hear that. You know, you can't, maybe you can't ask her how's her mother, but you could ask her how's her card game. You know, how's her club. And you can always say, it's good to see you. She'll like to hear that you think it's good to see her. She's your mother-in-law, why not? And when you train her that you're not a gossip and that she can't really get that invasive with you, you uh, create a boundary that she minds her own business. I highly recommend you use these social stock answers with your mother-in-law. How hard is it to say, you look stunning, uh, you know, how are you, great, great. If she gets too inquisitive, you could just stand up in the middle of a sentence and say, oh, excuse me. Uh, you know, like you have to use the pattern. With your four social stock answers, you don't have to be the messenger that gets shot. You don't have to deliver any bad news. You just keep your business to yourself. You mind your own business. If someone asks you something, uh, when people see that you aren't a gossip, then they won't turn to you to get the scoop. They're not going to come to you with the story. Once you train people that you don't indulge in gossip and you're not spilling any beans and you're not interested in uh, anything malicious, they learn to respect you and they don't ask you those inquisitive questions anymore. Let them wait till you leave the room because you don't want to hear it. People are sensitive.